for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at the Ert Explorer guitar. Uh, this is our third Ert that we've done. Uh, um, we have uh, highly approved of the last two. And uh, this is the Ert Explorer in black, blue, and purple. And that's what it says on the label. Uh, haven't Just seen it yet, so... Uh, like me. Yeah. It's, you know, it sounds kind of like an automobile accident. That's kind of the colors you come out of if you come out, you know, alive. You're black, blue, and purple. So, uh, anyway, Dead too. Uh, Leo had the good idea of cutting through the tape uh, before we started this uh, review so that you don't have to watch me cutting tape for five minutes because these are very well taped up boxes. Uh, you're going to have to steal the whole guitar, but you're not going to be able to open the box and take it out without it. Uh, you'll probably be caught if you try to do that. So, uh, uh, without further ado, let's see what we get. Well, the, uh, the bubble wrap is not bubble wrap. Uh, Every kernel popped. Black. Oh, okay. So, something more through the phone here. I'm not exactly sure what, but hopefully it's no big deal. Well, the headstock is certainly black, blue, and purple. And appears to have that kind of uh, glossy furniture kind of fingerboard on it. Well, that was on the first one we did. But... Quite a bit different than the ones we've looked at. We've looked at two strat copies basically, and uh, this has no uh, pick guard on it and two humbucker pickups. I'm telling you, the screws are like sunk almost an inch deep in the wood on this. Uh, no trim rings, huh? No, no trim at all. And it has a odd kind of finish. Uh, a beautiful back of the neck. I don't know what, what wood this is, but it's very, very nice and very smooth. Uh, one thing we have learned about the Ertz is their, their action is pretty much second to none in terms of uh, just being smooth and the fret ends perfect and uh, uh, all the kind of things we like. I don't know if you can see this, but the uh, the top of the guitar is kind of distressed. I'm not sure if that was part of the wood when when they cut the piece off, or they did that on purpose. Uh, but there are some actual. They're not exactly gouges, but here, run your hand across that right. Right here is where you can feel it the most. Yeah. Uh, Feels like gouges. Yeah. Uh, well. At this angle, you can you can just barely start to see them. So, Hang on uh, just a second. Let me get that in a close up. Yeah, you can really see it this way. Okay, well, this is obviously not black, blue, and purple, and I guess there's a reason why they called it black, um, you know, which is probably the primary color. It's a very interesting finish they put on it. 
and at first glance it looks like a veneer but I really don't think it is I think they just finished the top of the guitar like this and then they must have taped off the sides or something so that you have these little cutouts um, it's quite a striking guitar how much does this guitar cost um, three hundred and twenty-nine dollars, I think. Okay, so it's probably towards the higher end of the Earth uh, catalog. I'll check. I, it might might have been two seventy-nine or something. Uh, and those look like mini humbuckers, don't they? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, I mean, as long as they have the same kind of tonal characteristics, you know, the size is not that telling a, a, a feature of the, of the pickups. At least the plastic is easy to get off. It's a lot easier than the, than the strap pickups. Uh, and uh, interesting uh, inlay on the neck. So you've got, you know, one dot in the normal places, two dots at the octave for 12 flat fret would you turn the guitar so that the camera can see it please okay so every fifth seventh ninth two dots at the 12th and then uh that this is kind of nice and then third fifth seventh ninth and 24th on the other side uh, so it's just, you know, it's just an interesting uh, design feature. I mean, it doesn't really mean, mean too much. Uh, Probably has side inlays anyway. Yeah, you, you still have the dots on the side. So, uh, but, uh, I'm kind of liking it. These Erd guitars are, you know, it's like, at first you look at them, you go, man, that's pretty ugly. And then you look at it a little longer and it's like, well, maybe it's not as ugly as I thought. This is actually kind of neat. And uh, so uh, the one thing I don't particularly like is the screws right here where the pickup selector is. Um, I, might, I might have, if I, if I were doing this, I might have put black screws in. Just They're a little bit jarring, especially because everything else is black except for the pickups. The same screws are mounting the pickups way deep down here. I don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, Man, it's kind of like dog ear P90s or something. Uh, yeah, I can get them. That's good. Okay. So, uh, I mean, man, they routed these. And as far as I can tell, there really is no adjustment to the height of the pickups. The pickups are basically set at the height they're going to be. And there is no whammy bar. Uh, um, still got the really stout earth bridge. And uh, the nut is very smooth, even on the edges here. Uh, one of the things we found about earth so far is that uh, these guitars are, are uh, I think I said before, they're kind of built like a tank. And uh, that's a good thing. And everything that's important is extremely heavy duty. And uh, they don't really dwell on stuff that's not important. But they, they do end up making a very pretty guitar. Even the back here, it's that porous finish. But it's a lovely piece of wood. And uh, uh, it's not going to get in your way when you try to play it. So uh, at this point, we're going to, as usual, stop and tune it up and run through the pickups. And then uh, after that, we'll play something for you. Be back in a minute. Thanks. Hey, folks. Dan Ryan here again. We're uh, looking at this Ert uh, Explorer 1. Uh, that's what it says on the back of the headstock. Uh, this guitar is made out of some interesting uh, 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 materials. The uh, the top actually is a veneer, at least according to what we just read online, and this is uh, burled poplar, and then the body 
and the back of the neck are uh, a wood called padauk, P-A-D-A-U-K, uh, and uh, just a uh, I'm, I'm assuming that this, you know, the appearance, since it's the same wood, uh, this is extremely s smooth and perfectly uh, sanded. And this is more distressed, but, you know, it's just the back of the guitar. So this wood apparently will take prepping very well. And then the fingerboard is Indian rosewood, and it is that kind of uh, furniture-y, uh, uh, gloss finish and uh, according to what we just read online these humbuckers are there are bar across that uh, they they're using Alnico uh, five um, uh, magnets so it's just a really lovely guitar um, would you mind showing up close to the camera the back of the Getting the headstock for those tuners, they, they have some interesting tuners. Oh, yeah, this is a com company we've never heard of before. Right about there. A little lower, please. This isn't heavy or anything. <laughs> uh, it says there, Der Juan Professional, and I can't re read the uh, smaller print, but uh, that's good enough for Dan. Thank you. Uh, Der, der Jung, Der Jung, uh, sounds South African to me, but anyway, so now we're, right now we're just going to go through the pickups. So this is the, your neck pickup. <laughs> Doesn't ring quite as well as the strats did. And here's both pickups. in the room here. Yeah. Sounds, it sounds really good, but it's, 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 it like hurts your ears sharp, you know? Yeah, well, each of the pickups has a, a very, uh, I mean, the one that should be dark is dark. And uh, the one that should be bright is very bright. So there you go. It's a pretty simple guitar, a lovely guitar. And uh, now we're going to retune one more time and uh, play a little something for you. Uh, be right back. Thanks. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today uh, we are looking at this Ert Explorer 1 guitar. And uh, we've already gone through the pickups and gone over the fit and finish of the guitar and its materials. It's a lovely guitar. Uh, we checked the price, it's $288, and uh, I keep saying this, but uh, you, uh, I mean, you could spend three times that much and, and uh, for a guitar that's no better than this one. Uh, uh, you know, maybe the pickups, you know, maybe, you know, one or two little things you might want to change for yourself, but uh, this is a perfectly playable not just perfectly, I mean, this plays like a dream. Uh, the Ert Factory does the best uh, setup that, uh, that uh, you know, for an inexpensive guitar that I've ever seen, and as good as many expensive guitars. So, uh, anyway, let's make sure we... Okay, we got our pack. 
branch that we we like to use. So this is uh, the September Funk Guitar Backing Track in G minor, also by S Sebastian Z Zunino. Thank you, Sebastian. And uh, here we go. Let's see what we got.
a lovely guitar. Uh, you might have noticed I got a band-aid on my thumb. <clears throat> that uh, got in the way a little bit sometimes. Um, this neck is not exactly the same kind of neck that I usually play. Uh, might take a little bit of getting used to it, but it, it plays like a dream. And uh, this is a lovely guitar, folks. And uh, Ertz 3 for 3. Glary, not so much. <laughs> and uh, I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan's been running the camera. We want to thank you for tuning in and uh, watching our, our videos. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you want. And uh, click the bell icon if you want to be reminded of our future videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.